Yeah, typically when you come to the garden, you don't see this chaos happening. There's a lot of spent flowers and a lot of new plants trying to grow. These plants have to be cleaned up. Otherwise they will become very overgrown and look almost weedy. Well, let me go ahead and get started. Brief history of water lilies at the Missouri Botanical Garden. Henry Shaw was very intrigued with Victoria. Victoria named after the Queen of England. And James Gurney brought the Victorias to the Missouri Botanical Garden. Not very common here in Missouri. It was an exciting time to have the plant on display. We had over 30,000 people come to watch it flower for the very first time here at the garden. And that was circa late 1890s. Once Victoria became an established focal point here at the garden, George H. Pring began hybridizing many nymphaea species and tropical and nymphaea species. So we have many hybrids that were created here at the garden that are utilized for many displays across the world. My name is Derek Lyle. I'm the senior manager of nursery uh, here at the Missouri Botanical Garden. I focus on uh, ensuring that the proper equipment and environment is provided in the greenhouses and our hardy plant nursery. And also I curate and manage the aquatic and water lily collection here at the garden. My name is Neshka Pfeiffer, and I'm the museum curator for the Stephen and Peter Sachs Museum at the Missouri Botanical Garden here in St. Louis, Missouri. And I'm the curator of the current exhibition, The Nymphs of the Garden, What the Water Lilies by Arslan. The idea actually was a pitch by Arslan's gallerist and curator, B. Tam. Well, I grew up in Singapore, which is almost like summer all year round. So I grew up being accustomed to seeing water lilies as part of my visual landscape. My name is Bee Tam. I'm the founder and director of The Bee and the Lion, an art gallery that is based in New York City. They ended up creating a proposal to create this immersive environment, all inspired, of course, by Claude Monet's work in Paris, but would be uniquely suited to capture what was taking place here in the garden and our water lily collection. I remember seeing Monet's depiction of water lilies. I remember feeling so moved that I cried. Aslan is a contemporary artist, and I thought that his work really was a perfect way to express and pay homage to Monet's water lilies for this exhibition. In the Nymphs of the Garden, the Water Lilies by Arslan exhibition, we actually have three galleries. Um, the lower level gallery, which is the immersive environment by Arslan. I'm in front of a piece called Clouds. It is one of six paintings that are a part of a series by the New York City-based artist Arslan called Las Nymphaeus, A Different Point of View, Immersion. And as you come upstairs into our main gallery, you see these historic cabinet displays in which we use for all of the specimens that are in the exhibition. And so you learn about all of the different species and cultivars, how they were created, where they grow originally. Um, you know, we have them from all over the world. So these are all important things to understand because many of these are parents to the cultivars that you see in the pools today. As you continue through that gallery, you actually come into a much smaller gallery. And in that gallery, you also see more of the artist Arslan's work, but this is all the preparatory work that Arslan did to create these artworks. And so we have a series called Sediments, which in fact are 48 um, monoprints that were made from 48 drawings that he did. And these were very similar to some of the work that Monet had done when he was painting his works um, in Paris. So once Arslan completed that series, he then moved on to creating smaller oil on canvas studies that were the seeds of what um, the immersion canvases would become. As you view each one of the pieces, it um, brings you to that specific point in the day, whether it's in the morning or the afternoon or the sunset. Because of the luck of working in a beautiful place such as the Missouri Botanical Garden, I can picture them at that moment and the life around them because you always see the insect life that enjoys them, the pollinators that are buzzing around them or the dragonflies and damselflies that are flitting around them. And Arslan's immersion series has really captured all of that. Nymphs in the Garden has been an exciting project by uh, bonding historical value, my day-to-day -day work, and also the world of art. There's more than just pretty water lilies on display here. 
it seemed like a very natural fit to host an exhibition that would tie not only the science and um, botany of these unique plants, but also the horticulture that goes into um, producing these beautiful displays we do every year. One of the things I find interesting is, you know, a pressed specimen. It's a flattened plant, but having those on display kind of gives you an insight into the intricacies of the details of a water lily that you would not normally see. Even though it's, it's research, it's science, I still find that art because you can see the details. You can see how the petals are arranged. You can see how um, the stems are and how the, how the leaves grow in, in greater detail. It's just a mesh of different subjects coming together to you know, produce this one whole show. My name is Daria McKelvey. I am the supervisor for the Kemper Center for Home Gardening, and I do home gardening information and outreach. With this show, we created a water lily fact sheet for home gardeners in conjunction with our water lily expert and horticulturist, uh, Derek Lyle. So if you've ever wanted to start growing your own water lilies in your own home, you can use this resource to help you get started. It's rewarding to go into the museum and see the exhibit on display for a number of reasons. All of the hard work with our research department, beautiful art, live specimens that are on display, and even the step-by-step -step process to get to the display on a, uh, that the public get to see every day. It's worth stopping and engulfing yourself into the experience. When you experience the Nymphs of the Garden, the Water Lilies by Arslan, you'll be drawn in by the artworks, you'll learn more about the artist's process, but you'll really delve into the science and horticulture of the beautiful annual displays we have every year here at the Missouri Botanical.